between Richard and Kaylin about, hey, don't decide my life for me. Uh, yeah, but Kaylin doesn't care about that. But she's literally done this before. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard will do that. It'll be fine. And then Richard finds out and goes, hey, what the hell? Don't do that. She's doing it again. Well, we've also proven throughout this chapter that she doesn't really understand his trauma that he's gone through or care. And um, I don't know. I think throughout this chapter, we found out that Kaylin and Richard have a fundamental like misunderstanding about each other and like everything that the two of them have gone through. And not that they're wrong for each other. I just think that they don't really understand where the other one's coming from all the time. And they make assumptions, especially Kaylin. Dennis says he's going to need some help after she takes the mark because it's still, like we were saying, big, giant burn on his chest. It's nasty. She touches him, screams, and then disappears. So it's fundamentally different than the way Dark and Rawl disappeared because he literally walked out the door. Right. Like we were talking about, still there in the world of the living as a spirit. Denna, however, I don't think she is. I think she's gone now. Yeah, I think she went to the bad person. <laughs> the bad person? Yeah. He's a keeper. Do you oh, okay. Well, I won't I won't give you my guess then. Um <laughs> Richard instantly wakes up in pain, wondering what happened. Kalen runs to go get help because I mean you would. But if it was his chest, like your legs are fine. Come on, let's go. Yes. Scout. <laughs> <laughs> he might be in shock. I don't know. She doesn't. I don't think there's a lot of ex explanation as to what she like. It's okay, Richard. Let's go. She's just like, no, he's not good. Let's carry him. She runs out the door and essentially gets the elders to be his ambulance. Get the mat. Pick him up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, they want to get him over to Nissel so she can get him something to help because, I mean, she's been helping with the headaches. But I feel like this is different and maybe not something that's in her wheelhouse. Well, it might be the opposite way. The headaches aren't super in her wheelhouse because it's magic related. She can make him feel a little bit better in the meantime, but she can't fix him. The handprint is like flesh wound. That's right, because Denna took away the, the magical implications of that. Right. So now it's just a burn. So the own plant, right? Yeah. Boom. Got it solved. Next. Yep. You're qualified to be a healer, Nate. <laughs> Should I just go by Dr. Nate from now on? Uh, I don't. Hello, and welcome to All the Things. This is Dr. Nate. Thank you for joining us. I feel like... Please have a seat, and we'll be with you in about ten minutes to three hours. I don't know if you're allowed... I think that might be illegal. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then never mind. I don't want to go to jail. But Dr. Phil exists. Oh, no. We'll look into it. I'll say Dr. Nate. No, not the real kind. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. That'll work. <laughs> if you wanted to get a hold of Dr. Nate about any of your ailments, <laughs> you can get a hold of podcastatt at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook at All The Things, on Instagram at podcastatt, and our phone number. You can send us a voicemail or a text at 616-259-0025. Don't hesitate to send us literally anything. If there's something from further in the books that you guys want to like, hey, when you guys get to this, don't forget that Richard's an idiot. <laughs> Let us know. I want to hear your thoughts. In the meantime, thank you guys for being with us. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you real soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>